What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Hawley and um, we are riding around today and uh, I did some mods. Yeah, check this out. So we're going to play some pickleball right now, but I added this little cool thing. I feel like this is like the most handy dandy notebook situation. So it looks like completely factory. Um, but it is not so you just pop that in there guys i uh it is literally very easy um those two cords pop into the usb c spots and then you've got your lightning cable that pops out and literally retracts um and then the little tesla model uh, emblem that's really cool and then a regular lightning cable for anyone uh, and then also USB and USB-C. So just super cool as well as, you know, these also are both um, charging spots, wireless charging spots. But it's always just nice to have, you know how it is, it's nice to have plenty of plugs in the uh, car just for anybody that's going in on a trip or whatnot. Like tomorrow, we're gonna be heading to Nashville for New Year's Eve. Um, we're gonna stay for the weekend and we're going to this thing called the Virgin uh, Hotel Gatsby Gala. So that's gonna be pretty sick, I think. Um, not your regular Nashville trip. Like Saturday, we'll probably go out to Broadway and whatnot and have fun. Gosh, I love this car. <laughs> just insane but uh so Chantel Jeffries is DJing a set there um which will probably be pretty dope like again not your average like Nashville music country country bash um so we're pretty excited for that and uh we've got a few friends coming we've got like 25 people going down to Nashville so it should be a freaking blast um so that's what we'll be doing tomorrow I, we'll be taking the tessie the tessie mctesla uh on the trip so hopefully it does well <laughs> i don't see why it wouldn't but um gonna charge her all up tonight and then uh shouldn't even there should be no reason to stop at all actually but i had no idea the uh superchargers can charge your car like 150 miles within like 15 minutes which i have i thought you had to like sit there for like hours um and wait for you to get like 100 miles but you don't so i'm super happy to find that out oh here's a i think this is a plaid right behind me i think that might be a plaid i don't know we'll see let's see if they uh that would be sick if if I just got a little race now with this guy. Um, check that out. Pretty clean. Yeah, that looks nasty too. I don't know why, after owning this for a couple days, I don't even know why you need a plaid. Um, so this car was dyno tuned, or dynoed, and the horsepower is like 523 and then the torque is 720. Um, and I know they advertise it differently for the Model 3 performances, but they dynoed this, and that's what it came out to be. Usually they advertise a little bit lower, which I'm very surprised about. So I bet the plaid's probably like a thousand, like 50 horsepower or something. But I'm telling you, after you drive this, you're going to be like, why would you even need that? Like, this is already insane enough. But you know how it is. You know, you, you go and you uh, just decide, hey, I'm going to I'm gonna get some something better and something better and something better. But, I mean, you like to be content with what you have. But at the same time, there's nothing wrong with having goals and wanting to climb uh, to better things. So, it's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm just enjoying this and going to enjoy it for a while. But as I was saying, um, modded that little guy, and then I put mud flaps on. So I'll show you the mud flaps here in a little bit. 
I mean, I'm just kind of, I think they look cool, I do. I wasn't so sure about mud flaps, um, but I think they work. And also on top of that, the fact that I'm keeping this vehicle, I kind of want to do everything I can to uh, keep it protected, keep it safe, um, and just protect the paint, really. I, I do plan on wrapping this eventually, but when I saw it in person, I was so surprised at how much I actually liked the color. So I'm gonna keep it for a while, just keep the color for a while. Um, I ordered spacers too. So I'm gonna space out the back tires. The front are pretty solid, so I'm not gonna do anything with that yet. Um, but I'll show you guys the mud flaps here in a second. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments if you like the mud flaps or you don't. But regardless, I kind of like it for protection. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I think it looks pretty freaking sweet. So let's check it out here in a second. shopping as you saw I was just at Express and I went to uh, him and her boutique which is in the Drake uh, in the paddock shop if you're from here you know what it is but him and her boutique is like a really cool local shop that has like super dope high quality clothes um, I'm just trying to I was trying to find something for New Year's trying to get a little fly outfit um, and I think we did that I think we did that so you guys can be the judge of that when I'm filming down in Nashville got an outfit for tomorrow and then it got an outfit for New Year's so I already had the my blazer that I'm wearing from him and her boutique uh, I bought that like last month just in hopes that I would use it for something and I think this literally will be the perfect um, let me turn that music down the perfect outfit I hope so and then again Express I just got like three pairs of shoes for 75 bucks and each one was like a hundred fifty bucks a pop super nice high tops um, that I'm gonna literally wear both days and then the other ones I just got because why not um, but anyways I just got done at a supercharger because I wanted the Tesla to be like completely full. The Tesla, like if you guys are wondering, I use a wall charger, which is a 110 volt. Um, the superchargers, I think, are 240 volt max. Like that's what this one particular one was that I just went. And it took me like, I wanna say 20 minutes to charge it close to 100 miles, a little under. Um, and on the wall charger, it takes, I think, like a minute, like 19 hours. It was like 19 hours to get me, I think it was like 65 miles. But for me, I get home, you know, I'm going to get home at 7 and then I'll have it plugged in until 12 tomorrow because we're not leaving until 12.15 and... If I go work out, I'll just use the other car, the BMW uh, 430 or the Mercedes, and just leave it plugged up. So overall, I think with the way that I use this vehicle, it's going to be ideal for just plugging it in, and it's going to cost me 20 to $50 a month uh, on the electric bill, which is literally nothing compared to, like me with all the cars I have and drive for the dealership probably a thousand dollars a month in gas um, and just with how far I go back and forth 
Um, so, pretty cool. I mean, I'm happy with it, and I just wanted a quick charge to be ready to go for tomorrow, but we'll probably end up seeing it tomorrow, guys. Just a nice, easy, quick vlog. Not a whole lot going on today, other than just kind of... But anyways, guys, I'm almost home. Um, let's see what this... Yeah, okay, I, I think my phone's, like, starting to get full, um, from all the videos I'm saving, so after I record them, I actually ended up just deleting them, but almost home, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, because tomorrow we're gonna be headed to Nashville, we'll get some cool footage, hopefully, and then the New Year's party, I hope to get some cool footage, too. So, please like, comment, subscribe, even if you're watching this boring freaking vlog today, not a whole lot going on. I really appreciate you guys. I mean, to really witness and see for myself, like, trying to vlog every day, I mean, it's pretty insane. So, it's something challenging. It's something to do. You know, I want to keep pushing for it. So, again, please like the video, comment, subscribe, share it even. Um, but I appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time. Peace.